The unfortunate thing is I don't, she'd have to approach everything from the side because I, because her, her b bosoms are so voluptuous that, and her arms are, are so short relative to the, 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 the forward protuberance that is her chest. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're all good in the hood, or at least good in the like, good in the hoodie, H hoodie. Yeah, that was that was. I'm so sorry. That was rough. It was a rough day. I had I had nothing to go off of. That that was partially my fault. I asked Matt if he was all good in the hood before we started, and he was like, "I'm not in the hood yet." I know, but it was bad. Like, I, I here's the thing. That conversation ended. It is totally my choice and on my shoulders that I brought it back into oh. the public eye. Like, why? Into why? the public eye. It is. It's in the public eye. They have perceived it. They have judged it. And now we're lingering on it. Wait, we should just move move on. So let's move on to something else. Ash, say a random set of three words. Uh, Creator Clash, you. What? Yes, me. You. Like my thoughts on Creator Clash? No, that you should battle in it. <laughs> Good battle. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, Creator Clash was a YouTuber boxing event uh, or a digital influencer. I don't know, who knows what the title is for people anymore. <laughs> uh, but it was put on by the channel iDubs and uh, a couple other people. But it was this big, like, multi-round fighting event in a boxing style uh, that uh, actually got really well received. Uh, what was it? Like a, a week or two ago? It's been a, about like a week, two. I don't yeah, know. It's, been, it's been a little bit. Time is completely meaningless to me at this point. That isn't me like trying to cover up like, oh, we pre-filmed it. It's literally, I don't know what it was. It was fun to watch. It was great. Yeah. Um, I was impressed and I was surprised that it was as well received as it was. A lot of people saw it and were like, yeah, YouTuber boxing. That was a great event. Which, uh, no disrespect to anyone who was involved in it at all. Like, I, I think it turned out really, really well. I just thought that the the internet might have been more critical towards it, be, you know, because Logan Paul versus KSI, Jake Paul, like, yeah. it's, it's following in a line of this YouTuber boxing that's been kind of established at this point. I didn't know if people were, like, going to be sick of it or be like, why are we doing this? What, or, uh, you know, it, it just... I, I, I thought that it might have been ended up more controversial than, than it was, but no, it, it worked out great. I think everyone did an amazing job training for it. You could see that people were putting a lot of work and effort into it. And, and I think what's coolest about it is unlike the, the Logan Paul KSI stuff or any of the other like YouTuber boxing things that have happened before, this one felt re like very real. Whereas the other ones, you know, we've done theories about how I'm like, ah, oh, this one's going to be rigged and I can tell you exactly how it's going to wind up. And lo and behold, that's exactly how they wound up because I know how narratives work and I understand how brand management works. And I know that if you're Logan Paul or KSI or Jake Paul or Floyd Mayweather, insert boxer here, there are certain considerations that have to be made that are going to get structured in. And boxing is just the most riggable of the sports. The riggery is very real. It's 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 narrative, right? It's It's a show. Whereas here, I think with Creator Clash, it was like, oh... This is this is legit. Like these are people who wanted to put themselves out there and and experience what it's like to to box and give them an excuse to train or whatever. And you know that was that was cool. Um, so no, it, it turned out really well. So I'm glad that it was as well received received as it was. So anyway, what, what was your question? Uh, why didn't you battle? <laughs> why didn't I battle? Yeah. Uh, I, so I was uh, I was offered actually. Idubs reached out to me and I. I should have responded. What? I did not respond. Yeah, uh, that was I. I didn't know. So it was before it was announced. It was way, way like months and months and months ago. Um, and I, I didn't know how to respond. I guess I. And I was like, there was a lot of stuff going on, but I, I should have gotten back to him. So that was my bad. I dubs. I'm sorry. Um, but no, I, I, I didn't know if he was Joe. Like he, he just sent me a, a message, and he's like, "Do you want a box?" 
And I'm like, what? I, I, like, I, I was just confused. And I also was a little bit scared. I was scared and confused. And so I, <laughs> I ended up ignoring it because I didn't know what I should have. I, I guess it could have been like, lol, what? Would have been probably my proper response in that moment. But uh, it wasn't. Uh, my my re proper response was run away and hide. Uh, <laughs> which might be my response in the <laughs> ring, too. Um, no, but uh, he asked me. And I, and I thought at first, because... It was iDubs and I don't know. I'm like, is this, I thought it was going to be a parody at first. I, for the longest time, I kept waiting for there to be a punchline. Even in the event itself, I kept waiting for there to be a punchline. I'm like, wait, they'll, oh, they're actually boxing. Like I thought the entire, and maybe it's me again. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just approach things weirdly, but like seeing a creator led boxing event like that, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a meta commentary on the art of influencer boxing. Like, this is going to, like, uh, take the piss, as it were, of... <laughs> right? That, thank you. Uh, of <laughs> the concept of, of YouTuber boxing, and there's going to be, like, some joke at the end of it or some, like, meta twist or something. But no, it was, it was they, they were punching themselves in the face. And it was like, okay, cool. Um, as far as why didn't I... Like, would I do it? No. Uh, I, I, no. Like, I don't really have much of a desire... To, like I, I'd like to get healthy and it's it's good to have an excuse uh but it's one of those things where would I want to do it in that way not really I I think the <laughs> spoiler alert for if and when I ever agree to something like this I think if I were to do it uh it would be I would treat it more as a theatrical show yeah so so again to what I envision this to be it would be like me and channel x or whatever getting in the ring starting the beef whatever and then bell rings maybe like a puncher through his, to his throne and then the lights go out and then something weird happens and it builds out some lore or maybe you know it, it turns into full-on dance break. like suddenly the the <laughs> ring is filled with a bunch of dancers and we do a dance break whatever like i would want it to be a tongue-in-cheek parody like I, I wouldn't want to fight like i i think yeah. that that is just not me and that's not my style but to turn this event into a theatrical spectacle that subverts expectations or forwards some greater narrative or as a launch point to like then matt pat disappears or he's found dead in the ring who who killed him like that's the who sort of who, like, who killed who killed mark who killed matt pat, whatever like I think that's the sort of stuff that's really compelling to me. Mm -hmm. And so that is how I would use that sort of platform, right? It isn't just like for the sport of it. It would be for the narrative of it. Uh, so that, that's that's my creator clash. So if you ever see me on a roster or something, tune in because something weird is going to happen. Uh, it's not just going to be me and boxing gloves uh, beating the heck out of someone else. I know that at the end of creator clash, uh, dad, uh, dad feels we've done some film theories on him. Mm -hmm. uh, he called me out as like, I will, Matt, Pat, I challenge you. Did you, he had, the, he, he, he won his fight in 25 seconds. I know I was, I was rooting, I was rooting for Matt. Were you? Yeah. Why? Just a fan or? Yeah. Okay. I'm just... I knew. Here's the thing. I, I've known of Nathan Barnett for a long time. I've talked about this in one of our Dad Feels episodes, actually, on film theory. I've known about him for a long time. We had very quickly or like kind of crossed paths back in like my old, old, like 10 years ago, like Screw Attack days. Because um, we were both on the same website at the time and this and that. He's a maniac. Like, no, in, in the best way possible. Like not in a negative way, but he is so committed to everything that he does. He is a physical comedian. He has launched himself off of balconies and physically broken his leg for like stunts in live shows. And he is actively, like he's actively antagonized the WWE or one of the big wrestling organizations to get into the ring with uh, Dolph Ziegler, I think it was at the time or whatever. But like, to be the you know like hey you're the big heel of wrestling i want to go up against you it, it's brilliant i don't think the wwe ever did anything with it which was stupid of them because i think nathan is he's brilliant I, I think he does a lot of really good stuff but he is a physical comedian who is committed to the bit and is incredibly fit and strong and as you know the creator class showed ripped shredded to the gods right and and so you know anyone who would agree to go into a ring against i'm like they're gonna get crushed because this man has wanted to be a wrestler for the last decade. He's, he can do backflips. 
he he dances regularly he does these like 10 hour marathon dances on his stream like he is crazy in terms of like crazy fit and you know will not hold back and as you saw in that clip like in, if you if you go and look on youtube i'm sure the clip exists but like he, he charges out matt who's against him had <laughs> luckily dad feels has turned his attention to a different matt and i was not on the other end of this which i'm thankful but uh, you know charges in and i don't think it's like a it's like you're staring you know in movies when a train is coming around a corner or you're staring down like a semi truck that's about to hit, like that was him staring down a semi truck that was about to hit him and that semi truck was named nathan barnett aka dad feels and just got rocked <laughs> it was over before it even started uh so you know uh i definitely <laughs> you know you got to pick and choose your battles that is a battle that i i might be a little bit too scared to to hop into ash clearly i'm a lover and not a fighter Th this is true this is true this right? is true i yeah. think with my brain maybe you know, here's okay here last last thing i'll say i've said for a long time first off if if boxing isn't why why isn't wrestling like you know like yeah. wrestling a thing that's pretty theatrical that's fun that's also rigged all to get out i th the problem with that though is it requires more choreography and more uh training than boxing boxing is like you each go to your separate trainers do 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 and then you punch each other like there's no real you don't have to get it's not a collab for lack of a better term right it's it's literally i go to the gym anyway or i this is an excuse to go to the gym and now let me punch you wrestling is a collab right it is it is a dance it is an art form it is uh, it's it's fight choreography i go in for the clothesline you duck under you bounce off the turn you know off the ropes and i come up on turnbuckle like it is fight choreography done really well and to me like so on one hand i think youtuber wrestling would be a slam dunk the work to it and the commitment that everyone involved would require though is it, it's too much i think like that's that's the thing. Uh, if you ever watch the Netflix series Glow, it's fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. Highly recommend it. It's uh, Allison uh, Brie, who's one of my favorite actresses, uh, as well as a, a huge roster of really talented uh, females. But um, great show all about kind of like uh, the first and biggest like female wrestling league back in the day. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a really good one to kind of show what it's like to do that sort of thing. Um, the other thing I've said, like... Uh, YouTuber, I, I, there's been a couple channels that have done like spelling bees and things like that, but I think like I, I, game shows, for whatever reason, haven't cracked into YouTube. And I like, you have like, you know, Mr. Beast style stunts of like hands on the Corvette until someone loses or whatever. Like, that's the sort of stuff that's worked. But I still think like there's a world for a more traditional style game show in this universe that no one's really tapped into. And so like, spelling bee smarter than a fifth grader like trivia stuff like trivia is always really fun and it just hasn't really caught on on youtube so like those are the two that i'm like those would be great but i don't know what it is anyway hey what are we what are we what are we playing today what are we playing today so we are going to hop on in to the man from the window i like that it's the way you said it and the cadence you said it, it sounded like it sounded like you were kind of like you were gonna hop on in yeah to the man from the window. Does he hop through a window? Is that what we were going for here? I I don't know. I We were talking about physical stuff. I, <laughs> I was like, hopping's an activity. That's Hop, physical. That's what it is. YouTuber hopscotch. Yes. That's what we need. Yes, that is absolutely what we need. Competitive YouTuber hopscotch. Yes. Boom. Yo, I would... Oh my gosh. How does one even win in hopscotch? You just, maybe there's just a bunch of different like stages. Yeah, oh, and it yeah. gets more and more intense and it's whoever makes it to the end. <laughs> it's like American Ninja Warrior is like the adult version of hopscotch. Yes. Right? A little or, bit. Or like Wipeout, you know, like Wipeout, any of the like oh, wacky I obstacle games. Oh. That that is that is the equivalent of YouTuber hopscotch. We need, yes. Like bigger stunts, obstacle courses, things like that. Or you just, maybe this is a Mr. Beast video. You just, I made the world's biggest hopscotch course. Oh, gosh. Like 10,000 hopscotch squares. Last one to collapse out of exhaustion wins a million dollars. And like three Lamborghinis. And, wow, three. Yeah. All for hopscotch. Yeah. That's intense. I'd, I'd do that. You'll never have to hop again. You could just drive everywhere. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, hey, man hey. from the window, what's, what's that? 
So there's a man and, you know, he's in the window. Wow. Deep insights. There's bunny people. Oh, bunny people. I love bunnies. Yeah, right? I find bunnies delightful. They they are so delightful. Uh, So this game. My my first and really only childhood pet was a bunny. Really? Sunny the bunny. Sunny the bunny? Yeah. Old long term viewers of GT Live will know that from year one. So should I just play this? I think so. Do we have all best qualities? WSD, shift, run, tab, cycle, inventory, click. All right, left click, holding keys, full screen. Great. Looks good. Best, hold up, quality settings, best, decent, dear God, no. <laughs> it's so bad, don't use this one. Please don't use that quality setting. That's really funny. Uh, start a new game, press X now to skip the scene. No, start a new game, yes, please. All right, the man from the window. Oh, here we go. Oh, big money. <laughs> Bartleby's? Wow, those are massive ears. <laughs> what? Massive ears? It's a floppy bunny. That's big mama bunny. Or just wandering around. The unfortunate thing is, I don't. She'd have to approach everything from the side because I because her her b- bosoms are so voluptuous that and her arms are are so short relative to the, the 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 forward protuberance that is her chest not voluptuous why is that not a good i don't no like it like that that is a term i just wasn't prepared for it <laughs> voluminous thick I... t-h-i-c-c I don't know. I, I don't know how to contribute what, to this what, conversation. I, I don't, clearly I don't know how to contribute to this conversation either. I'm just saying her boobs are really big and her arms are not able to reach forward. They're not long enough. Yes. Right? That was yes. the observation I was making in that moment. Yes. Okay. She's built different. She is. Yeah. She is. And, and so physically it is going to be more challenging. She's going to have to approach everything from the side in order for her to manipulate objects in her surroundings. I'm just getting a strat. If, if this is the character I'm controlling, I'm getting strategy, okay? Getting in mind for the strategy. Mama Rabbit. Oh, my stars, I'm tired. Phew, what a long day. Seems like I keep getting home later and later. But that's just how it is sometimes. I ain't giving up. I better try to get some sleep. Gonna need to get up, be up early, bright, and get up early, bright, and early to cook breakfast for the little one. Bat Bartleby's Bakery. Oh, a teeny bunny. Oh, look, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Mama, mama. Dude, what on earth are you doing up this late? You know you have school tomorrow. But mama, the man from the book is going to get me. Uh-oh. Huh? What man? What book? The man in my storybook. See? No. Oh, oh, the man from the window. Oh, this is totally um, Babadook. This is the plot of Babadook, right? Basically, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Man from the window, give it here. Oh, even even the monster design kind of looks a little bit like Babadook. Man from the window. The man from the window is quite the odd fellow with his big beady eyes and sunken nose. Why, he just wants to say hello. <laughs> As he smiles from ear to ear, the man wanders the quiet night. Through alleys and backyards he goes, making very sure to stay out of sight. He silently peers through windows, searching for one thing and one thing only. A new friend is all he wants, for the man is very lonely. Once you hear his tap-tap-tapping at the window, you'll know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you have only five minutes before before he takes you away. Okay, five minutes. But do not fret, for staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for another five minutes, and he'll leave. Okay, so we have five minutes... It sounds like to prep for something and then five minutes to stall him and then he leaves. Okay. The man will walk, then he will lurch. The place under the mirror is where he will search. Okay. The man is in his element doing what he does best. Next, he will look under the place where you often rest. So, okay, he's... Man will walk, then he'll lurch. So, mirror, bed... 
The man indeed is very, very bold. <laughs> thought it said bald at first. <laughs> bold. Uh, soon he will check inside the place, which is cold. Refrigerator. The man has no friends, no family, no son or daughter. Uh, next, he will check the place which holds water. Toilet. Sink. Bucket. Bathtub. Me having eaten a lot of salt in the previous dinner. Osmosis? Yeah, <laughs> It's a lot of salt, you yeah. know, if you have like KBBQ sometimes, it's yeah. a very salty meal. So you hold a lot of water the next day. Oh, no, day. I get it. Right? I get you. You, you, swell, you swell a little bit. Oh, so, oh yeah. Uh, holds a lot of water. Okay. Osmosis. Uh, the man has no use for trinket or token. He will now check under the place where bread is broken. Kitchen. Cutting board. Oh, no, dinner table. <laughs> bread is broken. What? <laughs> no, I just like the... He's going to check under the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe uh, this is a family of glass blowers, and they specialize in blowing loaves of bread-styled glass. And then they break the bread. They literally break the bread. They shatter the bread. <laughs> that is such specific lore. <laughs> it's, I'm just taking That's it literally. so niche. You can take it idiomatically and say, oh, bread is broken at the table. Or... Maybe the lore of this, we don't know. Right. Uh, you know, Mama Bunny is working at the diner, sure, but maybe she moonlights as glass blower. Could be. She doesn't sleep. She does. She, you know, people she, need hobbies in their spare time. Real bread in the day, fake bread at night. Yes. <laughs> making the bread by making the bread, and then, she, you know, she's hoping to be a glass. You know, that's that's her that's her stretch that's her side hustle. Yeah, she's funding her dream. Yeah, she, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I support her. Yeah, I do too. Good for her, Ma. Good for Mama Rabbit. Yes, Mama. Yes, get that bread by glass blowing bread. Next up. Oh, that was it. Great. So what? Okay, it was mirror, bed, water. Was water third? Uh, mirror. it was place that holds water. Right, water. Bread is broken. Was four? Was there only four places? Only four? I feel like there were five. Anyway, okay. We should have written fridge? this down. At. Fridge? Fridge! Fridge. Bread. Bread ends with bread. Junior, this is one of those scary books people write. You're too young to be reading this kind of stuff. It'll scare your little mind half to death. But Mama, I saw him outside. It really did. It's just a book, sweetie. It ain't real. Now get that cottontail off the bed right now. This rate, you won't want to wake up in the... Huh? Uh-oh. Tap, tap, tap. It's him! He's out there! Cal calm down, Junior. Whatever's out there, I'm pretty sure it ain't a monster. Oh, this is this is good. Junior? Yes? Where, where'd you get this book from? Oh! It was on the table when I got home from school. You got it for me, right? Oh, dear lord, this ain't good. Oh, that's, that's terrifying, actually. Can I move? I can't move. I have five minutes. Okay. Huh? Junior. Uh, stay here. Okay. So I have five minutes to prep, I guess? Yes. This couch is nice and sturdy. I could probably push it in front of the door. Should I? It'll take about two minutes. Oh! Ooh. So we got to stall him for five minutes, and we only have five minutes. Don't move it. I better not move it right now. Okay, so we have that for five minutes. If you go to the microwave, yeah. that has a clock. Okay. To show you your time left. Okay. Does each action... Is it taking up my time in real time? Okay, I have five minutes. Okay, 155, so it starts at two. This is the place where water is held. This is the place where bread's broken. It's a box of donuts I brought back from my job. Open the box. Don't open the box. Eat the donuts. Open the box. Okay. I better take my keys with me. Picked up the keys. Can I lock the door? Oh! Oh no! It's crawling up to us. I see him. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's 156. Oh, yeah, we're so dead now. Okay. So we'll probably want to... 
That holds water. Oh, there's a lot of things that hold water. Sink cabinet is too snug for me to hide down there, but Junior definitely could. Okay. Shoot. Okay, okay. Okay, I gotta shut that door. Okay, and I can run too. That's good to know. I ain't gonna be able to fit under the bed, but Junior could. No, definitely not. Junior should not go there. Junior should go... Uh, Junior? Follow me. Okay! Oh, seven. Okay, so we only have three minutes left. Junior ought to be able to hide here. Get in the wash tub and hide for a little... So this holds water. Don't be, we'll be all right. But I think, okay, oh, he's got a, that's adorable. Oh, what a, what a, what a precious little gem. What holds, what, is the tub the thing that holds water? Or is it, hmm, I ain't fitting in there. Okay, what else can I do? I mean, I can push the couch, but my big butt ain't fitting under that sink. Where do I hide then? Here, let's shut him in. Couch is nice and sturdy. I can push in front of the door. It takes about two minutes. Sure. Why do I have keys? Okay, so now. Okay, yep. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm dead. I didn't get a chance to hide. Okay. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door was left unlocked. But the man was, oh, he was unable to open it. Okay. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. Okay, so that stalled him. It took the man an entire minute. Okay, so it took two minutes and we earned a minute. An entire minute to break through the barricaded door. But I'm there. Oh, oh, hey! The man had found his new friend. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Mama? Mama? Where are you, Mama? Mama? Man is gone. You can come out now. Really, he's gone. Mama? You, you can stop hiding. Please? Oh. Okay. Kid survived, at least. Yay, us. Man from the window! Nice! Did it! Donezo! That was great. Uh, okay. So, if we saved the kid, the, the 50% victory, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 did, I did not see any glass blowing equipment, so I feel like where the bread is broken, it's probably the table, right? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Let's, let's start this again. Um, oh, I should have skipped the cutscene. Oh, well. Okay, let's think through this. So there was, I'm surprised that there wasn't more that I was able to interact with. So we need to lock the door using the keys for sure. We need to... What do we need to do? And also, where's Mama hiding in all this? Mama's... Mama doesn't have a lot of places that she can hide. I'm just saying. Pushing the couch was useful. That delayed him a minute. What else? Okay, she's tired. Here, we'll go through this real quick. Uh, I do want to read the book again, though. That's that's the reason I kind of want to see this cutscene. So that way we can really make sure that we know. Because very clearly they're trying to tell us the sequence of events that he's going to, to pursue. And so we need to set up the things that are going to help us survive this. Uh, and we need to stall him for five minutes. Man from the window. Give it here. Okay. So here it is. Man from a fellow. He just wants to say hello. Smells from ear to ear. He wanders at night through alleys and backyards. Okay. Silently peers through the windows searching for one uh, thing. His friend. Okay. Once you hear his tapping, you have five minutes. Okay. And then you have five minutes and then he'll leave. Okay. Keep him at bay for another five minutes. He'll leave. The man is in his element doing what... Next, he'll look under the place. Oh, is it a different order now? Yes, it is a different order this time. So each time you got to make sure that you know the order, I guess. Because this time it's saying next, he'll look under the place you often rest. But that, that was like second the first time. So, okay. 
So he opens the door. He goes to the bed under the bed. So it's bed. Here, help me remember. Bed. Place that holds water. Tub. Sink. One of them. Tub or sink. Bed, tub or sink. Mirror. Under the mirror. Refrigerator. Inside the place that is cold. Check the place which holds. Okay. Place is cold, so... And then... Red is broken. Table. Okay. You got it, Ash? Yeah. Great. All right. This ain't real. Get your cotton tail off. Here he comes. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Okay, so here we are. What can I do with these? There ain't no way I'm fitting in there to hide, but Junior probably could. That's the refrigerator, though, so we don't want that. I, I, I don't want you to just... Okay. So, if I open the box of donuts, I'm assuming that's going to let him eat them? Like, he'll be, like, intrigued by it? That's that's such a random thing. I'm assuming that when he checks the table, he'll be like, I want some of that. Uh, shoot. How do I use... There he goes. I, did that lock it? Is that, is, is that locking the door? I am unclear whether that was me locking the door. Can I lock this door, too? I definitely should check the controls. <laughs> okay, it does seem to have un to locked it. Okay. Okay, I have... So, my kid should hide under the sink. Follow me. Okay, okay. Okay, so I can lock every door in the house. Good to know. Big enough for Junior to hide. Hide Junior under the sink. Okay, I'm scared. Don't be, we'll be all right. Okay, so he's hiding there. The last place that he's checking is what? What was the last place, Ash? Where bread is broken. So probably like kitchen table. Okay. How do I confirm? Here's my question. How do I confirm that this door is locked? Um. I'm assuming that means it's locked. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. Okay, I'm going to push this. Yes, I should push it. Move couch in front of the door. And then I'm going to hide. Okay, I'm hide under here. I think I can fit myself under there. Hide under the table. So, I think... This is exactly 2 a.m. Okay, so what I'm thinking is Mama has to hide under whatever the last thing is. The kid has to hide under the sink because it doesn't seem like in any iteration of this the guy checks the sink. And I need to lock every door and set up what... Okay, so let, let's, let's see what happens. This time, we're hiding at least. The door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took him an entire minute to break through the door. Okay, so we're already a minute 30 into this thing. So that's great. Nice. <laughs> Just hiding out. Okay, it was now 2.01 and 30 seconds. <laughs> Look at me. Just hide. Don't mind me. Oh. The man spotted a box of donuts sitting on the table. I understand. He, he, want, he wanted to eat the Krispy Kreme. Oh, he took an entire minute to eat the donuts. Wow. That is a way to show self-restraint, man. I can eat a donut in like 10 seconds, especially if it's Krispy Kreme, just like folds into your mouth and melts into sugar. Okay. So now it's 2.02 and 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Now where's he checking? Let's check. Oh, I should have locked the bedroom door. Okay, so I messed up there. Messed up the bedroom. The man looked under the bed. But he found nothing. That's right. No one was there, bud. This time is now 2.03. So we only need two more minutes. So each action seems like it takes him 30 seconds. Bathroom door had been locked. Meant that 30 seconds ripping the bathroom door lock. Okay. 
Where is water stored? Tub? 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 Looked in the wash tub. Okay, so my kid was definitely gonna die in the previous round. <laughs> I hadn't been like, been like, hey, it's me. Hey, you guys. Okay, he checks the tub. Mm. Mm. He found nothing. The time was now 2.04, so I only need a minute. I only need a minute. Oh. The man looked, oh no! Under the sink! Oh, <gasps> why? <gasps> no! The man has found his new friend! Oh, no. Oh, ooh, getting a weird glow. He has to be nearby still. Ain't no way they've gotten far this quick. I'll go find him myself if I have to. I ain't lying, the man broke in and just took him. Oh, she's calling the police. I couldn't stop him. Please, someone just find him, please. Oh. Okay, so we saw the mama take an ending. I guess we saw the kid take an ending. Uh, okay, back out, stay out of sight, very lonely. Five minutes, okay. Can't bait for five minutes, I'll leave. Place under the mirror. Oh, under oh. the mirror! Under the, it's the sink mirror. I did, Okay, so he's gonna start with the mirror. Then, wash tub, mirror, wash tub. Bed. bed. Mirror, wash tub, bed, table, refrigerator. Mirror, wash tub, bed, table, refrigerator. Mirror, wash tub, bed, table, refrigerator. Open the box. Okay. Wash tub, bed, bed, table. Can I lock this? Way too snug, but Junior could. Hmm. Okay. Did I lock it then? No. Okay, that's locked. Ain't gonna be able to put it on the bed, but Junior. Wait, so where's Junior supposed to hide then? Probably the fridge. Right? I was gonna say. Okay, that's locked. Okay, so that's locked. That's locked. That's locked. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about putting my kid in the refrigerator. I know. Please don't that's, freeze. Right? That that's not great. Follow me, kid. Okay, I think Junior could fit in here. Might be a little cold, but I need you to hide in the fridge for a bit. Don't come out until Mama says so. I'm scared. Don't be. We'll be all right. Okay. And then for me, my hiding options are... You, yeah, you'd have to go under the table. I have Right? The table is the only place that I can really hide. So what, what's this, what are the last two? Um, it is break bread and then the fridge. Right. Those are the last two. Yeah, because mirror and wash tub are up front. So he's going to break that. That should be locked. So I think that should do it. I think I put myself under there. Hide under the table. I think. So let's see. 30 seconds at the door. Minute. So that's a minute 30. Donuts is another minute. That's 2.30. Door lock. That's three, 3.30 wash tub, four minutes, four minutes sink, 4.30 opening bed, bedroom door, five minutes should be under bed, done, win, both of us survive, right? Yes, 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 okay, 2 a.m., the man approached the door. The door had been locked. The man spent only 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. Okay, minute 30. The man does not notice the large bunny woman hiding under the table in very obvious and plain sight. But so be it. He looks down, still not seeing the large bunny woman, but does observe the seven donuts. He inhales them in one minute. Hungry, he then proceeds to look for his friend. The time is now 2.02 and 30 seconds. Goes to the bathroom, having a stomach ache from the seven donuts that he just consumed in a minute. 
He spent 30 seconds ripping the bathroom door lock off. The time was now 2.03. Okay. The man looked under the sink. Nothing. But he found nothing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and he's like, wait a minute. There's something that I haven't checked in this room. The very obvious and open-topped wash tub. Probably should have scanned that one too. Let me look at it for a thorough 30 seconds. He found nothing in the wash tub. The time is now 2.04. Yes. I love how long it takes him to do activities. The bedroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the bedroom. I like that it takes him 30 seconds to rip through a door, but also 30 seconds to look in a very obvious hiding spot. He's very meticulous. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Looking at every nook and cranny. Right. For oh, his... that tub. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 30 seconds is a long time to look. All right. So he spent 30 seconds ripping it apart. The man looked under the bed, and he found nothing. The time was now 2.05. That's, that's your departure time, my friend. The man's time was up, and he knew it. So as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. He hopped. He hopped out of here. He hopped out of here. Oh, hopping. Bunnies. You knew that there were bunnies. It, I get it now. It I'm makes sense. Very smart. Yeah. You're, you are very smart. Thank Ash. you. Uh -huh. Thank you. The man, oh, he, he pieced on out. Oh my God. Very fast. <laughs> Yo! And we're gone. He yeeted on out of there. And then, Mama called the police and warned about home intruders. There, there's Mama. Nice. Mama, is he gone? He's gone, don't worry. Hooray! Yep, that's my response in that moment. Hooray! I knew you could do it! Uh, oh no! What? Mama, he ate all the donuts! I... Oh, shucks! But up, up, and I, I want them both to turn to the camera and do like a little <laughs> smiley face, like sitcom ending. He. That home intruder who almost stole us and, and ate us to death or whatever, he ate, consumed the donuts. Oh, well, that's the way the donut holds. Oh, the insert bad pun here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, child, don't scare me like that. I'll bring you some from work tomorrow, okay? Okay. And Junior, huh? No more cursed books, all right? I ain't up to dealing with that again. <gasps> but... What are we going to do about the woman from the door? The who? Da -da 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 -da. Bump. <laughs> Just kidding. What am I going to do with you, huh? <laughs> I love how casual they are about this. Not like, oh my gosh, there was a supernatural killer near us that was brought upon by an evil book. That we barely escaped. Oh, hey. Look at you. Got a star. I'm a gold star student. You're a gold star student. Nailed it. Good job. Thank you. I like that the mom too is like, I ain't dealing with that again. I had to lock three doors <laughs> and open a box of donuts. It's too much. That's a lot of, I, I, no, she had to push the couch. That's true. Oh yeah. Took two minutes, two minutes of couch pushing. A lot of exertion. <sighs> Man. Man, I ain't dealing with that again. Locking all those doors, pushing, that was the, that was the most exhausting five minutes of my life. I mean, valid. No, to to be fair, that would be the most exhausting five minutes of your life. Yeah. Yeah. And I... and also, to be fair, it, that was a lot more efficient than the activities in 12 minutes, which is the game that we spent a lot of time earlier this year playing. So, you know, I, I'll take that five minute window and then the 12 minute window that I had to deal with before. What activities did you have to do in 12 minutes? Uh... Well, a lot of things. A lot of tasks. A lot, a lot of tasks. I had to unscrew vent covers and find time warping watches. Oh. I had to tase a man. You had to tase a man. I had to tase a man and then threaten him at knife point. It was a, it was a very eventful twelve minutes. See, Let's you can say. be a fighter. 
Yes. Equipped with my taser and switchblade. Yeah. I could be a fighter. Uh, I'll have you know that I was Bernardo in West Side Story, so. Ba-da-da-da-da. I can dance fight. Maybe that's what I would do in my boxing match. I would Yo. dance fight without. So, anyway, there you have it, friends. Uh, man from the window, don't at me, bro. I will fight you, and then we will do a dance break to settle things. All right? The lights will go off, and then we'll do a dance break in the middle of the ring, and then it'll be a, a DDR dance battle. Uh, so... We saved the bunny family for now, but uh, who knows what new events might befall them in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya! Wow, that what a what a what a creative way to to sign off this episode, Ash. This yeah. was this was a very solid, intentional, creative choice that you've made here Thank in the you. final in the final thirty seconds of this video. Yeah, I, I figured we needed another task. Okay, great. All right, are you ready? For why the, the episode's over? Yeah, but like again. No, I, I think I think I think we nailed it the first time. To be honest. Okay, cool. I, I think we nailed it. All right. That's right. it. We're we're golden. All right. Uh-huh. That was it. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>